It's a country music time machine Taking us back to where the grass is green With twangs and tales from days gone by Let's ride those old trails beneath the open sky In our country music time machine In our country music time machine Hi there, everybody, and welcome back on board the Country Music Time Machine. Did you like that new country song I've got here on this Country Music Time Machine? Well, that song is not made by one of my musician friends here in Tennessee. That song is fake. The song was made by artificial intelligence. And that's what we're going to cover right now on this episode, AI or artificial intelligence in country music. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Kevin. And first, I want to give you a little background on me. My first real job was working in radio. If you don't count uh, me working on my grandpa's farm, yeah, but I, I did that too. That was really my real first job. I worked in radio for 17 years, but I did go to college because I figured I was going to make more money in a real job, and not in radio. And I got my degree in computer science. The Country Music Time Machine is not my full-time job as I still work in the computer security industry while I'm not an expert on artificial intelligence, but I think I understand enough to give you some insight into what AI is and its impact not only on country music, but in the music industry in general. First off, let's answer the question, what is artificial intelligence or AI? AI is using computers or machines to simulate human intelligence. AI in music is where computers or machines are being used to make the music, quite often the lyrics as well. Sometimes this also copies the voice of well-known singers. There are plenty of examples on the internet. Here is one from the famous rapper 50 Cent. And nope, he is not on my country playlist. But he did use AI to transform his most famous rap song into a country song. You can find me in the club, a bottle full of bub. I'm into having sex, I ain't into making love. So come give me a hug if you're into getting rough. Go shoddy, it's your birthday, we're gonna party like it's your birthday. When I pull out the front, you see the bands on the doves. When I roll 20 deep, it's 20 nights in the club. My flow, my show brought me the dough that bought all my fancy things. My crib, my cars, my clothes, my jewels, and tight-fitting jeans. Conway Fitty? Well, that is funny, but I will stick with Conway Twitty. And he is the real deal, folks. But everybody has opinions on using AI in music, especially AI in country music. But AI is an incredible tool. Let's see what presidential candidate Donald Trump has to say about AI in country music. Kevin, let me tell you, artificial intelligence in country music, terrible idea. I'm all for real country music, the good stuff, not the fake stuff. Listen, we're going to make country music great again. No more AI, just the country music time machine. Believe me. Thank you, sir. And yes, once again, that is a fake video made with AI. But I do agree with Trump when he says, let's make country music great again. But seriously, when people start making fake songs using computers or software programs, would you support it? Pop your comments in below. I'd love to hear from you. Would you listen to it at all? Historically, when new technology comes, our first instinct is to reject it. But in future years, will we be so dumbed down, dumbed down so much we don't even care if it's a robot creating a country music song? Personally, I do not like it. I want music to come from real humans, humans that possibly have lived the lyrics they write about and actually feel the music. And some industry leaders in Nashville are also worried about the singers and songwriters and the music industry in general losing the money because of AI in music. 
In 2024 here in Tennessee, a new law passed that creates a new civil action where people can be held liable if they publish or perform an individual's voice without permission, as well as use technology to produce an artist's name, photographs, voice, or likeness without proper authorization. So yes, we can sort of look at it both ways. Here in Tennessee, they're trying to protect the artist and, of course, the industry. But as always, it is about the money. They don't want to lose the money. Yes, they want to protect artists and and intellectual property rights and all that stuff, but the big name is the money. The money you could lose with fake music. But wait just a second. What happens when a recognized country artist uses this artificial intelligence to recreate his voice? Would you listen? That's just what happened in 2024 when country legend Randy Travis released an AI country song. Travis suffered a stroke in 2013 and since then hasn't been able to record. But with help from AI, he released the song Where That Came From. Yes, we know where that came from. It came partially from a computer. So in this case, the music industry hates AI until they find a way to make some money with it. Then they love it. But I have listened to the song, and I encourage you to listen to it too, so you can just hear what it sounds like. There is no doubt that it sounds like Randy Travis, the Randy Travis we know and love. And I do like the song. It really sounds good. But it has not been a super country hit. I guess folks are loving the sounds of Jelly Roll and Morgan Wallen more than the artificially created Randy Travis. But could Jelly Roll and Morgan Wallen be a little bit artificial too? While we're talking about AI and music, we need to mention the technology created in 1997, Auto-Tune. Auto-Tune, while this is not purely artificial intelligence, it does use software to correct the pitch of a voice in a song. While it has really primarily been used in pop and hip-hop artists, many of your favorite country stars also use it mainly live and concert settings, but some do use it in the recorded stuff as well. So since 1997, a lot of country music you've been listening to may not be 100% country music. I would say, this would be my rule, I say that all artists that have a 100% voice on their recordings and live performances and do not use AI should label their work as such. That separates themselves from the more fake stuff. Maybe put on the label like 100% pure voice or no AI in this recording. So what do you think? Do you give the use of artificial intelligence in country music a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Please, let's talk about it. I'd love to get your input. We can talk about it more in a future episode. So let me know what you think. Pop it in your comments down below. The great country music philosopher George Jones, Old Possum, may have had the best question when he released the great song, Who's Gonna Feel Their Shoes, back in 1985. Well, George, maybe it's a robot or artificial intelligence is starting to fill those shoes. That's all for the Country Music Time Machine. This is Kevin. Let's keep it country. Hey there, folks. Let me tell you, the country music time machine, it's the talk of the town. Kevin, buddy, we all love to hear you, but how about we dial down the chatter and crank up those tunes? Am I right? Let's keep the music playing and the good times rolling. Oh, it's a country music time machine, taking us back to where the grass is green. With twangs and tales from days gone by, let's ride those old trails deep the open sky. In our country music time machine In our country music time machine